Much love and appreciation, family. So for all of the brand new men's and women's shirts that you see and, and the limited edition sneakers that you see here, please visit the comment and or the description below the video. Two disgraced ex-cops, Edward Martins and Richard Hall, entered the courtroom still accused of raping a teen who'd been in their custody. 19-year-old Anna Chambers has publicly come forward following the September 2017 incident, seeking justice, she says. She had to follow the officers into court. Being here, seeing them is disgusting. The former detectives had resigned in disgrace. They admit that after they picked up Chambers in this Brooklyn park in a drug search, they had sex with her in their unmarked van at a fast food restaurant parking lot. The ex-cops say it was consensual, and in the same courtroom as the teen with whom they'd had sex, she says forcibly, the ex-cops' attorneys asked for the case to be thrown out. They've publicly acknowledged that the witness has made false statements and that they cannot ethically proceed with calling her as a witness. The judge agreed to consider the ex-cops' argument that since Chambers made conflicting statements to investigators in the past, the criminal case should be dismissed. It's all bull****. It's all false. They're just trying to make me look bad, and it's just, I'm the one that got raped, and they're trying to turn everything on me. The case involving Chambers, which is an alias she uses to protect her identity, sparked a bill that passed the state Senate saying nobody who's in custody is capable of consensual sex. That you have to make a law for police officers to right. have sex with people that they have in custody. That's crazy. That's absolutely ridiculous. She's going to continue to speak out, and they're, try they're trying to silence her now. That's what's going on. And prosecutors giving this statement, our office will continue to evaluate how to carefully and ethically proceed in this case, and we are committed to holding these defendants accountable. The hearing, the next hearing in this case, is on March 6th, and again, both sides coming from very different viewpoints. Ultimately, it will be up to a judge. Hey, how you doing? This is Sejihito here to bring in the news. So you already seen the video. So here we go. Ex NYPD cops dodge jail time for having sex with suspect inside of a police van in a plea deal, despite the Brooklyn DA's opposition. A pair of disgraced ex city cops dodge jail time Thursday, despite the Brooklyn district's attorney's ardent opposition to the sweetheart deal. Eddie Martins, age 39, and Richard Hall, age 34, pled guilty to bribe receiving an official misconduct after engaging in intercourse and oral sex with an 18-year-old woman as the predatory police officers were on duty in Brooklyn South Narcotics on September 15, 2017. The pair were initially charged with rape despite their claims that the sex was consensual. The charge was dropped earlier this year amidst question about the alleged victim's credibility. Quote, the defendants engaged in a shock and abuse of power, which they finally acknowledge. While I would have preferred to see them serve prison time, they are no longer members of our police department and their pleas are convicted and they are convicted felons. The two cops who face a maximum of seven years in prison will instead receive a sentence of five years probation at their October 10th sentencing. The officers resign from the department prior to the scheduled NYPD internal trial. The DNA was recovered from the woman and a surveillance video shows her leaving the police van roughly 40 minutes after the officers pulled her car over. But the prosecution crumbled as trial approached, with the district attorney acknowledging the woman's, quote, made a series, a series of false, misleading and inconsistent statements about the facts of the case. Some of the bogus tales were told under oath, authorities acknowledged. Defense attorneys were accused of smearing the victim in efforts to get the charges dropped, although the cops' lawyers insist they were focused on the lack of credibility, the credible evidence against the client rather than the woman's character. A call to her lawyer for comment on the plea deal was not immediately returned Thursday. According to authorities, the two defendants were on the job inside of a Dodge Caravan when they left their post in a buy and bust operation and drove to a park in Gravesend. Martins and Hall arrested the woman there after a traffic stop where she was behind the wheel of the car with the suspect acknowledging that she was carrying marijuana and two colopin pills. The driver was handcuffed, arrested, and taken into the police van where Martins 
had intercourse with the woman before she performed a sexual act on Hall. Then released a teenager who goes by the name of Anna Chambers on social media without even reporting the incident to their supervisors or anyone else. D.A. Gonzalez noted that New York State has passed a law prohibiting cops from having sex with people in custody, even if they claim the suspect was willing to participate, as Hall and Martins did. So here we go again. We got another story of corrupt NYPD cops, or just in general cops. Um, like I said before, it doesn't matter, um, in a sense, the color of the cops, because the cops are, in a sense, one color, blue. That's all they quote unquote say that they see, even though, <laughs> you know, we've had various stories, um, you know, talking about racism um, and things like that when it comes to, you know, amongst the ranks or uh, amongst, you know, the grouping um, of cops. So, you know, there's even still some racism there, just like in uh, the military and so on and so on and so on. But here you have cops abusing their authority to get over, uh, you know, on someone in a sense. So, you know, pretty much people know how harsh on the East Coast, uh, a lot of, you know, drug laws are pretty much harsh. She was fine with some pills and she was fine with, you know, marijuana. Um, chances are she was going to face uh, quite a little bit of time, um, either, you know, in jail or, you know, so on. And this was probably the cops using that as an opportunity as like, aha, we got you. So this is what we're going to do. You do a little something for us and then, you know, we'll turn a blind eye and act like, you know, this never happened. This would also explain the reason why the cops never um, wrote in the books that they made this stop and they held her for 40 minutes detained, right? Because if these were actual cops going by the law, they would have got her and um, the drugs she had on her. And, I'm, you know, I'm guessing her car would have been impounded. And then they would have, you know, taken her to the lockup or wherever she had to go. So then she can, you know, they can record her name and everything, get her thumbprint and so on and so on and so on. And then she'll have, you know, her court date or however they would decide to um, proceed, depending on how harsh they would treat her. But obviously this was not the case. They took advantage of a 18 year old woman. Well, she was 18 during the time she's 19 now. Um, and they wanted to use the power that they had in order to, in a sense, coerce her into what would, in, in a sense, be consensual sex, but it's not consensual due to the effect of her being detained and also under duress of two police officers who are more than likely using the law in their favor against their young against this young woman in order to get what they want. Like I said, I keep bringing you guys these stories to let you know how dangerous these cops are, how corrupt these cops are, how evil these cops are. And still to this day, you have a lot of people show up in the comment section like, oh, well, these, it's just these two cops, uh, you know, a few bad apples. What, what was the, the one main thing that people used to say back in the day? You know, one bad apple can spoil a bunch. Right. Which is true, because if you have any type of food product, um, like a soft type of food that has mold and it's near other um, soft type products because of that thin skin, that mold which has already penetrated one apple is or, or a tomato is going to go to the rest of the bunch is going to spread easy. Right. And that mold is hard to get rid of. This is why you got to throw the whole thing away, if not the whole bunch. So, like I said before, if you have to do that with actual products that you ingest for nutrients, you should do the same thing when it comes to corrupt cops that are presiding over um, you know, various communities. If you got one in there, throw them all out. Like I said before, because that mold, which is that corruption, will penetrate very deep in the soft uh, 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 texture and tissue of the police force. 
like I said, you got to get rid of the whole thing. You can't just sit up there and just throw two away and think that you just solved the problem. It's way bigger than just those uh, two officers. This is all over America. And people need to get that through their thick heads and stop trying to act like, oh, well, this is just people that are just um, hating on the cops and, and that are just spreading fake news on the cops. Well, what about this cop that just saved this this black kid from a burning car or this cat from a tree or these ducks from a sewer? That's great. Let's take the same thing that you said. Well, those are just a few good cops. That leaves all the rest out there that are not going to be covered by those stories that you just mentioned, right? See how that works? It cancels each other out. You said that my stories, the the, the information I bring out is going to get canceled because of the good cops that are out there. And I'm telling you this is the exact same thing. So now we're on a even better here. But you see how that doesn't eliminate the problem of the corruption um, in the police force? because there's no open dialogue there. So hopefully in, in, in my gibberish there, <laughs> people, you know, more than likely, uh, you know, got the point of what I was trying to uh, convey. Um, but anyways, let me know what you guys think about this story in the um, comment section below. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to hear a lot of stuff um, about this. Um, but as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.